Okay, thanks for checking out the Pest Startup 101 podcast. Please remember to share and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And in this episode, we're going to talk about competitions rates. And are you charging a competitive rate? Are you competitive? So before coming up with your rates, the first thing you should know is knowing your numbers. So we've done another episode where we talk about knowing your numbers and how to find your numbers. But briefly, we're going to go over this when creating your rates. So knowing your numbers, you should know your expenses. So you should have a spreadsheet where you have all the chemicals and you know how much is used on average, how much chemicals you use for, let's say, a roach service or a bed bug service. And that will help you creating your expenses. So depending on your service, if you treat the initial, if you do an initial service and you do a follow up treatment, remember to include that as well in your price and then also include the time. So if you are a worker slash technician and you're handling your own stops because you're just starting out, you should uh, have a number set for how much you pay yourself. And hey, I pay myself twenty five dollars an hour. So you put at twenty five dollars to the expenses. So have that also. So another thing is your population's income. So wherever you're based, wherever your company is based, the, the income level for your area or for your target customer is going to be different. So some customers uh, annual income is thirty five to fifty thousand dollars a year. And then some other people might have routes where the average income is one hundred twenty five thousand a year. Now, you're not going to charge a different rate because they just make a lot more money. They also have much larger homes and that you should also consider as far as their size of their home when coming up with your rates. So you might have a breakdown for this is how much I charge a price range for roaches. Say you start, at, you know, 150 to 289, you know, and you just go get you ballpark it from there. Depend, you know, that's where you go. That's where you land somewhere in that space. But you know how much is going to cost you. So then you can work out the numbers accordingly and you're always making a profit. Because if you want to grow, you have to make a profit and you have to reinvest that profit. So if eventually we're going to put out the book, Pest Startup 101 is going to be a book and it's going to be a manual and it's going to tell you how to make a profit and what to do with that profit and how to grow. So another thing is your competing company's ads. Now, your competing company's ads will also tell you a lot about how much they charge and what rates they're going to um what rates you should do to compete against that. So one way to look up a customer's, uh, a competing company's ads is you can go to a uh, Facebook ad library. You can go to their, you can go to their Facebook page as well, and you can scroll through their page and their ads will pop up, or you can go to Facebook ads library, go to Google and search Facebook ads library. And then in the search box, you can enter Terminex Orkin and, and put all ads and then it'll show you their ads and it'll show you if it's active and it won't tell you exactly how much they're spending on those ads. We have ways to figure that out, but it'll definitely show you uh, the ones that are running at the time and it'll some ads actually, you know, they'll put a number on there. So they'll put, Hey, uh, starting price, 99 bucks, start for start mosquito treatment right now for service free. And then, uh, to figure out the actual price, you can also go to the website, fill it out. Um, we don't recommend clicking on the ad. Please do not click on your competition's ads. I mean, even if it's the big corporation or the small ones, if you just click on the big corporation's ads, what is the, what that's going to do is they have an ungodly amount of money. Terminex is the biggest pest control company in the world. Their ad budget is huge. If you keep clicking on the ads, they're just going to spend more money on ads, which then will drive up the price for that target pest. So if they're spending 10 grand on bed bug ads every week, every month, and then it's costing $20 for customer acquisition or for to get a person to click on the ad, that price is going to go up if Terminex are spending more money on those ads. So it's not going to go down. So try not to click on the ads. Uh, another thing is, um, be fair, but not too fair. 
So when I first started out, story time, when I first started out, what I used to do was I used to um, say, hey, it's normally 229 Terminix charges 229 for Ant service. I'm going to undercut them 189 So you tell the customer 189 then they hit you with a stop, sob story or their military or their um, veterans. Sorry, not not veterans, um, senior citizens. And then you hit them, you get them another 5% discount on that, on the already discounted rate. But they have no idea that you've already discounted the rate. So they're just hearing, hey, the price is 189 and then they're trying to get you to lower it. It depends on the customer. Some people just say, oh, 189 that's great. The other company was charging me 300 But they'll still try it out. They'll still try to get you to lower that price. They'll still throw it out there. Hey, I'm a teacher. Do I get a discount? I'm a police officer. Do I get a discount? So um, it is always great to give. We, we give an, a discount for senior citizens. We give a discount for veterans. And that helps us out as far as those people will tell other veterans. They will tell other seniors. We use these guys and they gave us a great rate and they discount and people love that. So, but be fair, but not too fair. So if you're providing superior, superior service and Terminix charges 229, you might want to try it out charging 289 and then you reduce it a little and then you see how it goes from there. Because if they're, they're a big company, they can take that hit and charge a lower rate. And then they're forcing us to go even lower. And then we're barely making a profit and we can't compete. So you have to be careful. You have to always have that in mind and you have to count, calculate that when you're coming up with your numbers. So um, that's another thing. You can also um, click on that. Click on. Um, so you can go through the Facebook ads library and look on that. But then you can also go on Google and just search let's say pest control near me and then you scroll and then you'll see numbers there. Some pest control companies, they put their numbers there. They'll say, Hey, bed bug job starting at 449. So 449 is obviously for like a studio apartment or for a single room. And then it work, they work their way up. Um, some companies, they treat bed bugs where they will charge you this, this amount for the first room. And then each additional room is this amount. And then their guarantees vary. So this is a great way to tell with the guarantees so you can go, always go to Orc and you can always go to Terminex and you can go to Bed Bugs and their guarantee is there on the site. And a lot of companies, they do post their, their guarantee time frame, how much the guarantee time the customer is covered for when they receive a Bed Bug treatment. So that's the case with Bed Bugs. That's the case with mosquitoes. That's the case with fleas, uh, with roaches and other general pests is not so much because they kind of want you to sign up for the contract. They keep it a little vague. So then you have to call in and get more information and then they try to get an inspector in there and um, that inspector wants to get your credit card information, get you to sign. So uh, in another episode, we're going to talk about free inspections and should you be doing free inspections because we're small companies and we don't have the resources to be paying to fill up the tank and just running around doing inspections all day. And if you're great at converting, if you're great at making sales, if you're great at relating with people that you just met, and getting that, um, turning that inspection into a, a deal, then you should definitely do that. But in the next episode, well, not the next episode, but in the future episode, we're going to talk about the pros and cons about offering free inspections. So when coming up with your rates, remember to always know your numbers, comp- You know, check out what the competition is charging, always check the season, so always be informed as to is this going to be a really cold winter? I mean, you can't always tell, but you can always look it up, and that helps. That helps with the rodent population. If you know travel is is high, then you know bed bugs might be coming around, and you know where to target for that. So, in our book, we're going to discuss all of that, where we're going to tell you how to look for those things, and then uh, we give you real life examples of how to look for those things, and then how to use that information to um, not throw your ads out there blindly and to have it, to have a plan when you put the ads out. Okay. Now that's for later talk, but thank you for listening. There's going to be a short one. uh, And I hope this helps, you know, with, with, you know, any little piece of information. I listen to podcasts all the time and any little piece of information that I can grab, I use that information in my day to day life. And you never know, like, a little piece of information on reviewing 
uh, how to view other Facebook ads will help me from creating some crazy ad on some site myself without reviewing the competition and then it's totally not connecting with the fans with the, sorry not the fans with the customers and then you're not getting any results from the ads and you just wasted two three hundred bucks and you just kept that ad running for days and days and weeks and you're like oh facebook sucks it doesn't work but you didn't use it correctly and by me watching youtube videos listening to podcasts i picked up on a few things and then now with the experience of all these years of running a small business and growing a small business, then I picked up a few things and I just want to put it out in the podcast world so you guys can listen and you can just pick them up. You know, as I put them out there, you can pick it up, try it out, and it's all free. So thank you for subscribing. If you are subscribed, if you haven't, please subscribe. Go to our Instagram. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Pest Startup 101. And our website will be up soon, peststartup101.com, and we will keep you informed to uh, when the web website's up and running. You can put your email in, and you'll receive links for free downloads. We're not going to spam you and email you every day. We're going to try to We're going to be completely open. We're going to try to email you once a week. It'll have a free download link for the topic that we're talking about on that week or what we're offering that week, and it'll be a free checklist on reviewing a uh, checklist in your car. We can have a free Excel spreadsheet where you can use that to, um, to calculate your expenses. So you just put in the information and then it does the calculations for you. And then, you know, free stuff like that is going to help you all help you grow your business. Uh, hopefully. And if you haven't started your business, this is also a great resource. So then you guys can, uh, if you're just technicians, so you can see from both sides, you know, as a technician, I never really, cared when a customer canceled because hey i mean i'm not the one losing the customer the company is but the company would just get me another stop or you know you just being lazy that day and you didn't do the job correctly and then you lost the customer and you never know that customer it could be a huge chunk of your the annual income for the company when they're just starting out and that's a huge chunk that is gonna affect paying you the technician so the more you keep, the more customers you retain, the more um, upselling you do, and the more educated you are, the better you are, the more valuable you are, and the more you can offer uh, your customer and the company. So thanks for listening. Uh, please subscribe again, and have a good one.